Hi guys, my name is Janice and I'm from Tarot Reading London and this video is all about fear and why you might be scared of tarot. Uh, I do a lot of tarot parties and when I do a tarot party I always like to give a little talk before the party and as part of that talk I always ask people, you know, is anyone nervous? Is anybody scared? And normally at least two or three people put their hands up and say, yes, I'm really nervous of tarot and I'm scared and I don't know if I want to do it. And that's fine. Um, but it's normally the same three issues that come up. First of all, the biggest one is I'm really scared you're going to tell me something bad. OK, now, guys, life is not always a bowl of cherries. We know that. Good and bad things happen. And that's part of life's natural flow. Okay, the ups and downs of life are just the natural way of things. And sometimes when things come into our life, which is maybe challenging or not as we would wish, actually, that is to take us somewhere better than we are now. Even though we are quite keen to stick to where we are now, sometimes life takes a hand and moves us forcefully into the next chapter of our lives. So um, I always think it's better to be forewarned um, so that we can take appropriate action. We can look at whether you have any power in the situation to um, to change the situation, to stop whatever it is happening. If you don't, and sometimes you don't, we can look at how you can navigate the situation, how you can navigate through to the best possible outcome ultimately. And, um, and maybe what is also beyond this situation. So where are you heading with this situation and where are you heading once you get through it? So uh, we can look at why the situation is happening and we can look at what belief systems you have around it. So actually, it's all about, again, putting you in control and giving you some power within the situation. So uh, the next one is normally, well, will I make bad things happen by saying them? Uh, the answer is no. No, you really won't. That's not a thing. Um, things are going to happen or they're not going to happen just by saying it is not going to make something happen that wouldn't have happened anyway. So you don't need to worry about that at all. And the next the next one that comes up is an interesting one. Um, does tarot attract evil spirits into the room? Uh, again, the answer is an absolute no. Tarot does not attract evil spirits. It's not a Ouija board. We are not dealing with those kind of energies. The energy that one taps into with tarot is very much intention led. And I connect to my source, my guide, and that is always coming from a higher place. It is not a Ouija board. We do not attract evil spirits if you believe that to be a thing. Uh, that's got nothing to do with what's going on here. What we're doing is connecting to a higher guide, a higher source of energy, one that only has your highest good at its heart. And we're looking at basically you having a reading which is going to leave you in a better place than when you started. It's going to leave you with more information. It's going to leave you more empowered and it's going to leave you understanding more about what's going on around you. So um, I think it's a shame that people are afraid of tarot a lot of the time. It's just because they have no experience of it. And uh, I've been doing this a very long time. And I've said in many of my other videos, all of my experience of tarot is that it is kind and gentle, down to earth, truthful, um, but never cruel and never brutal. So when you start thinking about why you're nervous, just have a think about these things and ask yourself, well, what is there to be frightened of? Life is going to unfold around you as it is. So sometimes we need a bit of courage to face what's ahead. But in order to get that courage, sometimes it's nice to have uh, to have some knowledge at our disposal. OK, so that's my thoughts on tarot and fear. I hope it's been useful. Again, my name is Janice. I'm always here to read for you. Um, TaraReadingLondon.com. Thank you very much. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye bye.